everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint. In this video, we're going to be painting Min Tae Fan from Mansions of Madness Second Edition. This was picked by Patreon subscriber Shelly. She's got request white right. She gets to pick a model every month. This month, she's picked this one. If you'd like to help financially support the channel, do check out Patreon, patreon.com slash watch it paint it. Links as always in the description below. We're going to start with Survivor Skin to paint all of her skin, all the bits you can see. Start on this particular model, it is her face, so I'm not bothering really with the eyes, but I'll get a little bit in there anyway. I'm going to paint some glasses on, so that sort of thing. But then also her neck, her neckline, down as far down the, her top that you can get. And then she's got both hands, arms, elbows, shins and calves showing, and, and that's about it. So it's fairly straightforward. I'm using my Rosemary & Co. detail brush here, uh, 3 slash 0 to be exact for that, for their their sizing um and that's it really so i'm using my normal survivor skin color which i would do for a lot of skin tones now i think uh, min's skin tone in the in the artwork is a little bit darker than survivor skin i'm gonna well, you're just gonna see how you change that, that with with shade with the wash so depending on which wash you use you can you can alter this tone quite substantially so Although it's just a skin tone I'd paint on for ninety percent of the models, this this will uh, just choosing the wash is going to change that subtly enough for to match the artwork of this character. I did prime it before in matte white, so I'm painting on top of a matte white primer here. Next up, another army painter color. This is light denim, and I'm going to choose to paint her top this sort of color. I'm just as always, just really just trying to stick to the artwork, and I think this is the the colour I have most that I'm going to be able to match to the, to the artwork. So I'm just carefully, now I'm just really dodging the skin more than anything because I've, I've painted that and I want to be extra careful. And so just painting carefully around that. I'm going to use another army paint. I think I'd probably use army paints for all of this model. There's not too many colours to use. An army painter have now given me enough paints from the, the packs that I have, from the sets that I have to be able to paint nearly every color i used to always have to switch to desert yellow for this particular sort of browny yellow color but goblin skins fulfilled that uh, that gap in my paint from the army painter filthy suit for the um for the skirt that she's wearing just painting that on these are all watered down maybe about 50 50 here uh, nice nice liquidy coats uh probably doing well it's it, it looks like it's applying fairly well first off but i might do an extra one off camera so if it ever looks a bit like it changes between scenes it's just because there's no point showing you two coats on camera but i will try and mention it black is definitely a one coat job here so this is for her hair and i'm going to very very carefully paint on her glass of frames glass frames glasses frame the frame for her glasses i'm probably going to touch that up off camera just because that is fairly small and the camera does put quite a bit of distance between my eyes and what exactly I'm painting. Now one thing I did notice painting this model is, I, I think I've mentioned this with Mansions of Madness before, it's a little bit lacklustre in detail and lacking in detail. These models are a bit a bit meh to be honest. Now painting them is going to make them a lot less meh but there's just not much to them. Uh, I think when you get to the end you could do the best paint job in the world and it's still only going to look pretty good you know i don't think i'm ever going to finish one of these models and be like best model i've ever painted now saying that yeah as i mentioned your game's going to look a lot lot better if you find the time and these models are quick wait till you see the time on this at the end it really really did not set my day back very much so i've also painted the shoes in black and then i'm just using up some of that extra paint that i had on my palette just to get a first coat on on her base because i will be painting the base black as as well anyway and then i had to pour a little bit more paint because i forgot her belt looked black in the artwork or can you even see it in the artwork hmm i feel like the artwork was a bit like above the skirt only if you want below the skirt pictures you are playing the wrong game guys but black for the belt for me obviously you can change these colors as and how you wish i'm just showing you now how it looks after i finish the base coat obviously if you just touched up that base with a, a second coat you could just be finished there that's all you wanted to do. That was about 10, 15 minutes worth of work there. Um, but I'm going to carry on. I'm going to show you how quickly it's going to look instantly better just using wash. You're talking another two to five minutes work here. I'm going to use a blue wash. And you could do this all in just one wash. But I'm, I'm going to use a couple. Starting with Blue Tone by Army Painter. I'm going to do her top in that. And I'm also going to apply that to that grey skirt. I, I think 
I wanted her skirt to look a little bit bluey gray instead. Um, and I just thought I'd try this out. Why not? So let's see what this looks like. And obviously you can use black there if you'd prefer it to stay blacky gray instead. I'm going to use a flesh wash, which is quite a ready, ready, it's light. It's like a light brown, but it's ready brown. So that's going to, as I mentioned, I feel, feel like that's just tanned her skin a little bit. So she's looking a little bit potentially darker skin tone matching the artwork a little bit more and then we'll do a little bit less highlighting than normal and keep it a bit darker now you could stop there i think that looks pretty good and that wash does not take very long but again i'm just going to go that little step further and i'll show you how i've done the highlighting i've just taken a tan color so this is actually by vallejo i don't have a color could maybe try leather brown something like that by the army painter i'm just ever so carefully just going to catch both of her lips just darken her lips up a little bit, a little bit of lipstick, a little bit of colour to it. Then I'm going to take out the base colours again, starting with Survivor Skin. I'm using my Army Painter's Insane Detail brush here. The model is quite small. You're not going to need to do many highlights. There's just not that much detail to worry about. A little bit on all of her fingers and knuckles across her forearms. The obvious face places, you know, you've got the nose and the cheeks and the chin, if you can get to that. Then I'm going to do the backs of her cars, where the, the muscles are standing out quite a bit and down the shin and that's that's really it for this for the skin it's as simple as that light denims back out for the top i'm going to do the folds on her sleeves so which is sort of roll the sleeves up and then the clothes that her top has got a bunch of fold lines just where the clothes are creased and i'm just going to highlight up each of those and sort of blend it so that towards the flatter areas just to make it look a little bit more realistic and then the skirt i'm going to be bringing that back to that gray really just leaving that blue wash kind of in the in the shaded bits in all those recesses but i've watered this down heavily so it's blending nice and easily and then i thought why even blend it just get a big brush and just dry brush it all the way around it's going to take a few seconds very very simple just giving it a sort of bringing it back to gray with this sort of blue undertone to it so it's a little bit just found it a bit more interesting than not but by all means just use a black wash there something like that will do the same and then I give her a light scrape of that dry brush over her hair as well to put some detailing back in the strands. She does have some detail in her hair. There's definitely, you know, individual strands of hair there. So you can bring that color back in and just make it pop out in detail. And then Goblin Skin's back out, insane detail brush again. Just going around edge highlighting that book, just making that look like some lights hitting the corners. That's it. 31 minutes, guys. As I, as I mentioned, there isn't a lot of detail, but this is not going to take a lot of time. I painted her glasses just in pure matte white there and the collar around the neck of her shirt as well so i just added a little bit of white just made it look like her eyes are completely glasses and and you know that'll that'll do it's good enough and it's a huge improvement on the game and like i said 31 minutes this is one of the fastest models i've done if all the survivors take this sort of time i'll be very very happy hope that helps you guys thank you all very much for watching i'll catch you next week